Charles, it's only been five hours since I left Hong Kong. Yes, I miss you already. <laughs> okay, seriously, I need to hang up in case I wake them up. It's so early, I'm sure they're all still sleeping. Oh, actually, Kenneth's awake. Okay, I'll call you later. Bye. Hey! Hey, you're back. Hey, you're up early and vacuuming. Hey, you're gonna wake everyone up. Actually, they'll sleep right through that. Wow, that vacuum is quiet. So, how did it go with Cameron? You must be tired. Yeah, I mean, there were plenty of meetings, but it was also a great weekend. And you... Have a shower and settle in first. Hmm? Okay, sure. Everything was fine here? Yeah. Cool. That's incredible. And... This is our latest fabric. We've tried specifications. I see. Isn't it amazing? You don't look impressed. <laughs> Sorry. Isn't this just a white bill of cloth? That? That is hand-weaved cotton made by artisans who have learnt their craft from young. Uh, it's in child labor. These are traditions carried on from ages ago. We don't intend to change it, but we do intend to include and enable the kids to get an education in addition to carrying on these practices. Oh, right. Is your friend? Yeah. Avery, meet Adam. Adam, Avery. Hi. Nice to meet you. Well, I'm going to hear for my run. Auntie, this is my order, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been telling my friend all about Dao Hui. See you guys. Bye. Bye. How do you know that guy? Let's just say he was a friend of me. Anyway, I really like how the fabric falls. Wow, I'm gone a few days and everyone's got a serious case of the Monday blues. Where's Nikki? Nikki! He won't come out of his room. Why? Dad and Auntie Cameron broke up. She's bound to find out sooner or later. They broke up over the weekend and he's been miserable since. Nothing you see or do is helping. And frankly, I hate you like this. I will go check on Nikki and Nina. What happened? I thought that wasn't going to happen for another few weeks. I don't know. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? How can you be so indifferent about Dad's breakup? Yeah, I feel bad for Dad too. But Dad said Cameron always intended of ending the relationship. She just ended it sooner. I was rooting for them to be together. I thought they looked so happy when I video called them last Friday morning. She even thanked me for the breakfast. <gasps> the breakfast. Do you think I was too pushy and I frightened her off? You just said Cameron thanked you. The breakup has nothing to do with you. I should have kept my distance be detached, unfeeling like you. Hey, I feel bad for Dad too, okay? But really, besides the early surprise, this was coming. I guess the only question is, why early? What are you looking at? Jobs, what else? What is that at for? Account manager at Gila. Who? Do you think I should apply for this? Why not? Well, number one, I have practically no experience, even though I am interested in social media. Two, it's at KSUH. I and mean, the last time, my Ibu wasn't too keen on me working there. That was a long time ago. Yeah, but... You know, Louis Shelley is still working there. And worse, he's the CEO now. Hmm. It's a nice now. Good luck making your decision, Sarah. It was a great night. Breakfast and brunch. She even gave me a kiss in the office. The next thing I know, she wants to talk. I just don't get it. No reason given? 
I've been trying to reach her. No word, no reply, not a word. Just cut me out like that. Was it something I did? Yes, it was. You knew it was a fling. You said you understood the rules, and yet you took her and the kids out for that picnic? Huh? You let the kids get attached to her, now look at that. Ugh, sorry, I shouldn't have... No, no, you're right. I did this to myself. And the kids. You want to see the... Uh, oh, I'm sure they're fine. Look, forgive me for being direct, but how are things with you and Ella? I mean, your personal relationship with her. We're, we're taking things slow for now. What does taking it slow mean? Are you both seeing other people? No, w well, Ella just wants to focus on Sutrinium for now. I see. Well, I'm glad to hear that because when I saw Ella and Dr. Adam together, they seemed very close. Dr. Adam? He's a doctor? Yes, at GFPH. Nice up-and-coming doctor. He's very popular with the nurses. Ella said he's just a good friend. Oh, I'm sure. Although I've often wondered why he's still single. So I'm thinking of a different orphanage. Hello, Adelie, Adina, <laughs> how are you? Oh, good, good. Uh, good to see everyone. <laughs> We're having our usual Orchid Ladies meeting to discuss upcoming projects and events. But actually, we are more interested in what happens after the meeting. The tea. <laughs> <laughs> Come join us. Oh, I'm not a member. I... Maybe we can uh, go to Adina's later. You can't escape us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> later. <laughs> Wonderful, see you later. <laughs> Hey, Adam. Hi again. Done with your run? Yeah, I thought I'd pick up some lunch. Or are you just hoping to bump into Ella? Excuse me? Stay away from my girlfriend. Girlfriend? You and Ella? <laughs> Couldn't tell from the way you guys were just now. We're taking things slow. It's none of your business. Of course, of course. And look, you know, I'm not into Ella, so take a chill pill, okay? Anyways, good luck of Ella. I think you'll need it. Hey. What do you mean by that? It's obvious that every bound guy. <laughs> Excuse me? Hey, hey, Dan, dude, say it again. Come on, say What is wrong with you too? She's telling me you're still not over your ex. What the? Sorry, guy. I said too much. But truthfully, do you even like this guy that much? Shut <laughs> up. Just shut up. You have no idea what's going on with me. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I apologize. Stop it. Stop it. Dr. Adam, not working today? I'm just early. It's my day off. You don't seem to be enjoying it very much. How can I when I have this chronic foot in the mouth, piss everyone off syndrome? I'm sure you don't. You're a very nice boy. Some people just don't appreciate honesty. Better to keep your distance from them. I'll keep that in mind. You checked? You're sure that Cameron's stopping by later? Yeah, for a meeting of Louis. At three. Thanks. Yeah. Ananya, how's Kenneth doing? The same. And Nina? What do you know? Did Cameron speak to you? She told me about the IVF. I know about the IVF. She still hasn't told Kenneth. That's why she doesn't want a long-term relationship. But it doesn't explain why she ended things so abruptly. It's because I told her how attached the kids are to her. Especially Nina. <laughs> She didn't know that? No, she didn't. It took her by surprise. Well, what did she expect? She was spending all of that time with them. You know, buying them stuff, going on picnics and whatnot. Of course, they're going to grow attached to her. I think it wasn't in her plans to like Kenneth so much. She got in over her head. The best thing to do is to end it immediately. The best thing is to cut them off without any explanation? 
Huh? Pretend like nothing happened. You agree to that? Wow. You two are two of a kind. Cold-blooded. Never mind. I'm sorry for lashing out at Adam. I was just feeling insecure. Adam's just a friend. I know. It's just... When you say you want to take things slow, I can't help but feel a bit insecure. I'm committed to you, to our partnership. I'm not trying to rush you. I'm happy where we are right now. Let me refer you to my head of regional development. Nanya, can you take this call? Who is it? I don't know, but I think it's important. He keeps saying stuff like, I want to talk to someone who's not an imbecile and actually knows what he's doing. So... Has Cameron come in yet? No. Nanya Davis speaking. Nina, are you looking for someone? Uh, Louis, I'm... I have a meeting with Louis about Hela. Oh, you know where his office is? Yep. Hey, have you seen Cameron? She's popular. Look, oh, we're behind you. I want to know the truth. Why did you break up with my dad? Yes, I do understand. I'm, I'm actually not the right person. Yes. Everything is just perfect. I love the macarons and lux, but this is the flavor of home. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies. Excuse me, I need to make a quick check on the stuff. <laughs> Excuse me while I run to the ladies. Adina. I see that you had a lot of fun this afternoon. <laughs> Why don't you join the society? What's holding you back? Celia, I have dementia. I forget things. Not just small things. The other day, I forgot about Khalid. I nearly lost him. How to plan for events and fundraisers. I'll be a burden to you all. Nonsense. You can contribute in other ways, like hosting a cooking class. If I can remember the recipes. So what if you forget an ingredient or two? Most of the OLS ladies can't even fry an egg. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure if my family approves. Why do you need their permission? Anyway, I leave it up to you. But I believe you still have a lot to offer. Don't shortchange yourself. Is it because of me? I know I can be pushy sometimes. No, it has nothing to do with you or your father. Then what's the problem? Was it something my dad did? I know he can be dorky sometimes. It's complicated. Nikki misses you. We all do. Why do you need my dad to change? You can tell me. I'll let him know. Nina, your father and I, it's its just not possible. Can you at least stay with him until your trip? By then, he'll be more emotionally and mentally prepared for the breakup. Nina, your dad's going to be upset if he knew you were here. You need to leave. But... Look, you shouldn't even be here, okay? You need to come clean to Kenneth about your IVF. I can't. Then I will. You have no right. They open their hearts to you. They deserve to know why. I told you Kenneth would blame himself, no matter what. I don't want the whole world knowing about my IVF. It's private. Oh, you had no problems telling Shira about it. I think Kenneth has more of a right to know. Why won't you tell him? You want to know why? I'm scared he'll reject me, okay? Who's that man with Derek? He is one of KSU Hitch's bot members. Oh, no wonder you're nervous. Anything to do with social responsibility is right up my alley. Well, their clothes are gaining a cult following among the socialite. I'm aware. Well, they're right there. Perhaps you can introduce me to the other half of Sutrinium. Ella! Avery! Derek's asking us to go over. No, Avery, don't... Avery, 
This is Jeffrey, a board member of KSUH. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Bella, how are you? I'm good. Jeffrey has been thinking of making a personal investment in Citrinium. <laughs> That's wonderful. We're not interested. But you haven't even heard the details of the offer. In the first offer. Derek and Avery. I think Ella wants to negotiate privately. What do you want? To be an investor. I know Jessica asked you to support my business. If you are, there's no need to make contact. You think I'm trying to get close to you. Sorry to disappoint you, my dear. I've moved on. I won't try and steal you away from your boyfriend. I don't believe you. It's just business. You'd be a fool not to accept my offer. Did Celia Shelley ask you to join the Orchid Lady Society again? Yes, and I've decided to join them. Ibu, we've been through this. I know what you said, but today, for the first time in a long time, I forgot I have dementia. I really enjoy myself with the ladies. I, I never told you this before, but sometimes I feel lonely and sick and tired of going through the same routine every day. But you know that's important for your I know you can say that. But sometimes I feel I'm being controlled by you, by Dewi, uh, following me around, supervising me, day in, day out. I want to change. Are you sure this is what you want? Yes. I want to spend the rest of the time I have however I like. You sure you can cope? And the orchid ladies and their activities can be very overwhelming. Don't worry. Celia knows I have dementia. She will help me. Well, if it makes you happy, then I'm happy. Anyway, uh, I have something to tell you. I want to apply for a job at KSUH. I know you don't like me working there, but... What job is this? It involves uh, managing social media accounts. Something I've always wanted to do. What about your game's design? Anyway, you should still try. It doesn't matter if it's not 100% what you want. Anyway, I don't have the relevant job experience. So? Just go for it. You sure? As someone very clever said, if it makes you happy, I'm happy. <laughs> it doesn't add up. Why would Jeffrey want to help you? Derek pushed for it. No. I just want Jeffrey out of my life. Derek will not give up unless you tell him what happened. No, he mustn't know. You're supposed to leave Ella alone. You wanted me to support her business as compensation. Yes, but I didn't ask you to make contact with her. And just throw money at her venture without personal interest? That's terribly callous, isn't it? Haven't you hurt her enough? After all that threatening and bargaining with me, I'd think that you'd understand the thrill of that game. That same game can be played on both sides, Jessica, darling. Is the drink okay? Yeah. Can I get you something to eat? No. Actually, Kenneth, I want to be upfront with you. I wasn't entirely honest about my trip or the breakup. The thing is... You're married. What? No, what gave you that idea? 
she wanted a fling from day one. So that makes me a cheat? Is that how you see me? If you were single, why would you want to leave a perfectly great relationship? Well, why not? You're not getting any younger. <laughs> so now I have to settle. You're too good for me, Miss Yeo. Do not put words in my mouth. I'm a single dad with three kids and a failing business. Why would you want me? Hmm? Look, I didn't come here to fight. Did I do something wrong? No, Kenneth. You were great. You're probably the nicest guy I've ever dated. But I got scared. Of what? Everything. Where we were heading, how attached your kids got. It wrecked my whole IVF plan. IVF? Yeah. You know the alternative procedure to have a baby? Harvest eggs, choose a donor, fertilize eggs in a petri dish, introduce fertilized eggs. I know one, IVF, yes. I am willing to scrap all of that if we have a baby together in the next nine to 12 months. We, as in you and me have, have a baby together. Well, I don't have anyone else in my life right now, so. Wow. Time is not on my side, Kenneth. That's my proposal. I'll give you time to think about it, but I'll need an answer soon. I build these walls and I can feel you now. And I can say. Hello, you want Tao Hui? Da Bao or eat here? Two takeaway. Okay. Let me handle this. You are going to be late for a shift at KSUH. Oh, alamak. I'm heading over for meetings. I can give you a lift. She doesn't need a ride from you. Uh, but thank you. Uh, better go. Uh. Ho is waiting for me at the roadside. <laughs> what about my order? Be gentle now. You don't want to break the silky smooth curds into mush. 320. Did no one teach you to say please, Ella? Keep the change. <laughs> <laughs>